Hi, thanks for joining us again on Celebrating Act Two for uh, two old guys uh, talking about really important stuff, well, life in general. Right, Art? Absolutely. <laughs> if it flows, if it flows out of our lips, it's important. Oh, I'm, it's crucial. Yeah. Hey, I've been noticing, of course, that here in Southern California, summer is still going strong, but the kids are back in school. And that made me think of uh, why they're in school in August. I don't know. But that made me think of the fall. Now, the fall is a long way uh, ahead of us, uh, particularly in Southern California. But I remember in the fall taking day trips, just, mm. you know, vacation time is over. You just get in the car and, you know, go someplace interesting for lunch. And around here in Southern California, they've got lots of these little seaside towns, Laguna Beach, is an art colony. Uh, San Diego has uh, museums and stuff. Um, and I remember in in uh, living in New York, uh, going to all kinds of places, whether it was City Island or up to Rockport, Mass, and and uh, uh, the Cape, uh, just to, just for the day, just to get some soup or something and and head back. Uh, how about you? Did you ever do day trips? Well, sure. Um, back east, of course, uh, we would always drive someplace uh, in general when the leaves would change. And we know people from the West Coast that go to the East Coast just to do that. That's uh, right. And, uh, yeah. you know, if they catch it right, they'll get to see enough of the changes. But, yeah, I remember uh, actually one of the most memorable day trips uh, Linda and I took was um, uh, we, we've always had a sort of fascin fascination with neon signs. And I know that uh, San Diego had a neon uh, museum and a factory, uh, but I never could really? track it down. But one day I, I just happened to type in uh, uh, in the browser, uh, a neon museum, and there was one in Glendale. So, wow. so uh, uh, just by happen chance, uh, happenstance, I spoke to uh, my sister, uh, who uh, lives up in LA and we're in uh, Orange County, and we decided to meet in Glendale at the museum. They had some visitors uh, who came from overseas that had come in. So we all met there, we had lunch. It was a fascinating little museum. Okay, it was a perfect day trip. Yeah. Uh, and so those are the kind of things, but of course we have uh, wineries here. Uh, yep. As you do all over the country. But All over, yeah. But uh, just uh, when I, I knew that we were gonna be talking about this, so I went over to uh, Google and I typed in uh, day trips around the U.S. Oh, that's good. And what'd you find? Right at, right at, right at the top was right, I'm looking at now, sixteen Miami, New York City, Calistoga, Franklin, Tennessee, Glacier National Park, Middleburg, that's Virginia, great. and each one of them has one or more really fascinating things, which even if you've lived there for a long time, yes, may yeah, never you probably have seen. haven't seen. Yeah, right. What about you? You uh, mentioned Franklin. You mentioned yeah. Franklin, Tennessee. That's a great little town. Mm. There's a Confederate cemetery in Franklin, Tennessee, yeah. and an old and an old uh, uh, pre-war mansion. Fabulous. Mm. Uh, my brother lives in uh, Oregon. We went uh, for a day trip to a little town called Sisters, Oregon, mm. which is for me filled with quilters. <laughs> And, and the whole town is filled with craft, arts and crafts. Anyway, all around the country, there are little towns and villages and and museums and, as you say, um, uh, vineyards and lots of other things to visit for just a couple hours. By the way, so speaking, speaking of the Pacific Northwest, I remember once uh, I was there on business and I had a weekend uh, free uh, and it wasn't winter. Uh, but we went up to Mount Hood to see one of those, uh, one of the WPA projects where they had these massive uh, 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 buildings that they just put people to work to, like a lodge. It was absolutely yeah. stunning. And I've seen others in other parts of the country, but these were yeah. really quite unique. So there's just stuff all over the place. It doesn't there have is. to cost a lot of money. Uh, tank of gas or a charge at the your, your electric charger. Uh, and uh, for uh, less than a tank of gas or a full charge on your electric, you can probably yep. get to and from some of these places that are things that you may have lived there all your life. Maybe there's a cavern in, in your backyard you've never seen. I'm not going spelunking at my age. Oh, right? really? That's, I'm sorry. 
So you're, <laughs> but right, you know, that's wait, that's wait, 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 wait. You might like stalactites and stalagmites. Now, which one comes from the ceiling? <laughs> I don't know. I I am not playing with either one. Okay. But you know, that's what's great about day trips is no matter what your age, whether you're a kid and you haven't been around and seen all this stuff, or whether you're a, a senior like us, it doesn't take a lot of energy. You can get in the car, bring some friends, go have lunch. Um, and it's always a wonderful experience. So I hope everybody gets out, uh, even if the weather turns cold on us coming up, although in Southern California, we don't have to worry about that for quite a while. Right. But get out. Do a day trip and enjoy yourself. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.